Hey guys, and here we are back with another video and I hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today, here we are with this ASRock Mini ETX motherboard. This is the X570 Phantom Gaming model. Really cool motherboard in my opinion. And on this particular case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the features of this motherboard, especially for those that are on the market for a Mini ETX motherboard, in particular this one, which has some really cool features that probably are very interesting to put in a small system. In this particular case, the case that I'll be using is the new NZXT H1, which I will be assembling with these components. What I've got right now here is the AMD Ryzen 5 3600, which in my opinion at this moment is a very competitive CPU in terms of performance and in terms of price. But we will take a look in further videos in terms of performance, in terms of probably Akintosh if there's a lot of requests and we will try to see that. I also have S3 uh, Plus memory right over here. Uh, in this particular case, three, 32 gigabytes of memory. And also have at the back the uh, SSD M.2 uh, HP EX950, which I have reviewed here on the channel, is the fastest SSD that I've used so far. So if you're looking for a fast SSD on M.2, then this is a great solution. And regarding the motherboard, it's in my opinion really elegant, the way that they place the SSD right over here, which is hidden. Uh, and it just looks amazing. Now let's start with the uh, back I.O. We will start by the two USB 3.0 um, connections that we've got right over here, limited at five gigabits per second of speed transfer. And I'm just mentioning this because there are a few different USB ports right over here. Now next we have the PS2 for the keyboard or mouse, also the Wi-Fi connection, SMA connectors right over here, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. By the way, it has Wi-Fi 6, so new protocol and uh, it's faster than Wi-Fi AC and in this particular case called Wi-Fi A. X. So we will test that and we will see what kind of speeds we will get. Also a really interesting button right over here, which is the clear uh, mouse. And you guys know, for those of you that assemble computers and not playing around with computers and so on and so forth, sometimes we need to jump those pins to clear the mouse, which is that small portion of memory that stores the peers information and it's always boring to, to take the case panel and so on and so forth uh, to clear mods and in this particular case ASRock has got us covered we just need to press and that's about it now we also have a HDMI output right over here uh, especially if we want to use a CPU that has a integrated graphics card but the most interesting part is not the HDMI it's the display port input and this is an input which is leaving me very curious to test it out because I haven't watched any review regarding this motherboard. Yes, I know I'm stubborn, but that's the way that I like to do things. So display port input really sounds interesting because if I can get image from any other devices that have display port output and record that image, for example, then that will be great. But this is just guessing. I'm not really sure if that's the case. And if it is, this is the first time that I do use a motherboard with this feature. Now, the next we have here the Thunderbolt 3 connection, which is getting a little bit more common on motherboards, but it's not that common. So great to see a Thunderbolt 3 port right over here, which is useful to connect any device that supports Thunderbolt 3. Now, I'm a Mac user, so all my Macs at this moment work with Thunderbolt 3, but on PC gaming, computers not that common. This is just great to see. Now, it also works as a USB Type-C connection, and in this particular case, when using USB Type-C, the speeds will go up to 10 gigabits per second, so USB Type 3.1. 5 gigabits, 40 gigabits when using Thunderbolt 3 and uh, when using USB Type-C are on the limit of the 10 gigabits per second. Now we also have two ports of USB 3.2 which means that we are uh, using speeds of 20 gigabits per second right over here. So as I said at the beginning of the back I.O. there are several different speeds of USB ports so just know that this one is faster than these and this one when using Thunderbolt is faster than all of them but when using USB Type-C this one is slower than these right over here so that is great to know now in terms of uh, RG45 this is a gigabit connection right over here and then we have the audio 
uh, ports including the optical output now looking at the board itself and really simple power input and power input doesn't matter uh, where the power goes just that these are power inputs and then we have the Northbridge um, passive cooler right over here and this one is an active cooler which I'll try to show you the fan I'm curious to know if this will be noisy or not I hope that it isn't but it's really cool to see here cooling and then there's a pipe here that will transfer the uh, well cooled this also this um, passive cooler right over here or dissipated that we find right over here so very elegant solution really great just curious to see if this will make any kinds of noise or not now the cpu we have talked about the cpu we will test it out and i will show you benchmarks and tests on video editing and so on and so forth we also have 32 gigabytes of ram right over here this is the s3 uh, 2666 megahertz 16 gigabytes of each the board supports up to 64 gigabytes of uh, ecc memory or non ecc in my particular case i always use non sec but for those of you that are looking for a motherboard that supports SSC memory, which will prevent errors, then this is a great option because it will support both. And this is just awesome. And then in terms of the GPU that we can use right over here, this is generation four. So time 16, but it will support the next generation of PCIe uh, GPUs that will come into the market and that is great now what we also have right over here in terms of pins this is for the audio and then this is for a usb type usb 2.0 sorry uh, for the front header on our case this is for the motherboard and this is the tpm stands for trusted platform module and in very simple words it has to do with cyber security we can install uh, a few modules right over here but you just search on google you'll find a lot of information then we have in terms of fans one two three four connectors for fans we can connect cpu fans and whatnot and whatever we want in terms of the case itself so that we can control the fans and finally we have right over here a usb 3.2 connection for the front io so full speed right over here up to 20 gigabits per second and now it's finally <laughs> right over here for sata connection so that we can connect our ssds or uh, mechanical hard drives to our motherboard so guys basically this is it this small motherboard mini itx form factor looks really elegant really nice in my opinion of course there are a few features that i will only be able to test out and share with you guys once i've got my setup ready and test it out in terms of leds which i don't know if i mentioned this is a led connector this is a led connector as well so i can just connect a led strip right over here and control that led strip with software that comes on the motherboard which is awesome in my opinion awesome but i love leds as you guys can see now and basically that is it in terms of my opinion this motherboard that i've chosen it's great in terms of form factor it's great in terms of the price that we get for all the features of course that thunderbolt 3 will increase the price of this motherboard so if you don't need thunderbolt 3 which I always advise to get, at least I use it on a daily basis. Uh, it's great. If you don't, then you will find uh, motherboards from ASRock a lot cheaper without this feature. And that's something to be aware. And that's about it. Hopefully this video was helpful, especially for those of you that are looking for this particular motherboard and you want to have a closer look and try to understand what it has and doesn't have and along with some pictures along with the specifications that will leave down below along with the prices and so on and so forth you can take your decision and get this motherboard or any other board, motherboard that you are comparing in my opinion at this moment this is one of the best compact motherboards mini itx form factors but that's my opinion hopefully it was useful and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one Thank you.